Problem with the Gears of War scene is it's quite two-faced. It's really not a very fun environment to be in. Why? Why, why should we accept somebody talking nonsense? The point is to not pick out at any single person. The video is about the community in general and the sense I get from the community. Sometimes you have a really good conversation with somebody and you think, oh, they're actually a decent person. And then two seconds later, you see them on Twitter liking a tweet about you, talking about you. They're in a Discord talking about you and you're like, oh, you're just one of those people. You know, it just seems like most people that you interact with, there's always like an ulterior motive. Call it, there's no flow of new people into the game. That everybody's wary of sort of getting in the bad books of the big content creators or everything. And that's what's great about my channel is I have no ties. I'm scared to talk about something. If I think someone's been an idiot, I'll tell them they're being an idiot. And I think that gets in a lot of trouble because people then automatically side with the bigger content creators or the streamers or the discords or the communities because they're scared of being ostracized and left out of those communities because that's the only way in. It's kind of like you need to be friends with everybody in the scene to get anywhere because it's so small. It's kind of like, oh, please, can I scrim you? Let me tweet on Twitter. Can I scrim people? Kind of like that. It's it's a very small, tight-knit community and people are very, very scared to talk about it and, and talk sort of and defend each other. Like yesterday, I literally had a 300,000 subscriber YouTube channel tell me that I was an evil person. Not a single big content creator came out and went, actually, I've spoke to him. He actually makes sound videos. He seems like an all right bloke. I've, there was nobody. Everyone was like, whoa, back away from that situation. Because if I say the wrong thing, I might end up getting blocked. That might lose me some clout. That might lose me a little bit of leverage in the scene. Don't want to do that. So everybody just stays quiet. Well, I'm not bothered about having clout or anything in the Gears of War scene. Say like is, you know, people hated Dutch Only Das and we had a little back and forth, but you can always say that the guy was open and honest and he wasn't afraid to confront people. And maybe that's why he rubbed people up the wrong way. Because um, he tried to say some things about the, the scene and then it was like, whoa, you're out of the scene. You're not allowed in the scene. You're saying the wrong things. You know, it's very, it's like a click. And yeah, I'm just highlighting the fact that it's it's very difficult to navigate. Um and I think it turns a lot of new players away. Posted a tweet, Moomoo Milk absolutely getting incredibly angry at Stotty. Bear in mind, I do not follow Moomoo Milk. I don't watch his content. Was it like 10 years ago where he was like in spawn, like hiding in spawn, trying to clutch? That was like the last time I ever watched him. Hey, let me clutch. Load of angry messages. Here's one of them. You'll be my dog, sit down hater. Pretty childish response. You know, calling someone a dog a hater. What year are we in? You know, I'm not sure what start he's done, but someone isn't happy. Notice I'm replying to myself here. No tags. Says it feels good. It feels good being above people that try and bring other people down. Because we know Stotty is a wind-up merchant. Smooth and milk. Oh, what's he been doing, mate, this time? He then just completely flips out. Look how weak you are. What was Stotty doing? I bet 100% you guys are acting like your nose is bleeding. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like a lost in translation language barrier but and then he says so many l years later you are a s the same bunch of kids still not grown up this is the same guy calling me weak calling me a kid my nose is bleeding calling people haters and dogs so that's kind of that right and i was like oh i guess he's like annoyed i won't mention anything the 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 idea to call me out for dick riding after all these years put my name out of your shit tweets not understanding this guy isn't understanding that I have never tweeted at him. I don't follow it. I said, I don't think you understand what the term means. Like, listen to how I interact with this guy. I don't think you understand what the term dick riding means. I just wondered what he did and asked the question. I apologise if Stotty has upset you. Have a wonderful evening. And out of the blue, he just randomly puts this out on his Twitter. Just so you know, this person is a snake. This is me. That's my Twitter account. Just so you know, me... I am a snake, a person full of hate, acts like he is something nice, but he ain't. Evil person. Someone please break his ankles if you see this clown IRL. Just utter nonsense what he's talking about. So that is a guy with like, what, 300,000 YouTube subs trying to threaten me, which I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do. But I just think it's a bit daft to call someone a child, a kid, and say someone hasn't grown up, and then basically say, oh, I'm going to knock you out. It just seemed a bit unhinged, a bit. I was just like, what? So I didn't really appreciate that. Uh, I didn't really appreciate a massive Gears of War channel threatening me. Uh, but, you know, that's cool. Like, it doesn't bother me. I just don't think it sets a good precedent, and I don't think that a large channel such as that should be sort of putting out tweets or sort of talking to people like that because 
personally, I've been in the Gears of War scene long enough. I've had a good amount of shit talk thrown at me. I can handle it. Somebody might not be able to. Maybe it is a kid. Maybe it's somebody going through some stuff. And maybe he he wouldn't want his name plastered on the internet saying I'm going to I'm gonna break your ankles. So I wouldn't really advise doing that. Like, I'm not trying to start drama here. I'm just saying that for me, the Gears of War scene hasn't changed all that much. It's why I left early on. You know, I played Gears 1, loved it. Gears 2... You know, there was a lot of drama between the balance back and forth. Then Gears 3 came out and Gears 3 was like the start of like the montage clans, the S clans. It got a lot more shit talky, a lot more personal. I had people dox me. I had people reveal private information. I had someone shut my YouTube channel down. I had copyright strikes. I had a lawyer shut my channel down. Then I had to like fight that case. It got all very petty and I really just didn't enjoy it. It got ridiculous. And yeah, I just left the scene. When I play a game, I typically get stream sniped. There are a group of people that watch my stream and stream snipe me. They'll then get into the game, cross Lancer, try to make the game as unfun as possible, and then come into the stream afterwards and shit talk. I've had that happen to me a lot. So that's not very fun. So that's how that goes. So what people do is they come into the stream after they've beaten me and they want to get a reaction. An example is this here. Toby Campbell just wins a game with a five-man stack. He sits in my stream. There he is at the bottom. He sits in my stream listening to me uh, chat about the game for like 10 minutes. And I'm just asking him. Right there now. Toby Campbell, right there. I don't know what you want. Toby. I'm saying you got your win, Toby. Enjoy it. I don't know what you want. Are you trying to listen for a reaction? Are you trying to get me mad? I don't know what you want. But this is somebody that consistently interacts, whether it be on the Discord, reacting to posts that I've put on the Discord. A funny example, uh, Stotty gets headshotted. And Stotty gets headshotted and I put in the chat, oh, Stotty got banged. Toby Campbell is then in the chat and says, actually... GGZ, at GGZ, you got banged. There's always contact trying to be made, and it's just generally like a very annoying scene to be in. And that's why I've been playing less and less. Um, not specifically due to Toby Campbell or Moo Moo Milk, but there are other people that are just surprised me, like for Aurora Symphony with 2v2 match, and it went quite well. We got absolutely hammered, but afterwards we kind of all chatted for about an hour the about the game balance and about things and aurora symphony in the in my twitch channel was very very open and honest about certain people and how toxic certain people were in the gears pc scene and in the gear scene in general and how unwelcoming it was and how basically he didn't want to be like that so I was like, oh, this guy seems like a decent guy. Like, he chats about the game. He, he you know, he plays well. Uh, seems a lot more honest and open than most people. So I tweeted out, Aurora was a great guy. And that was the tweet. And then yesterday, when all of that crap blew up with Moo Moo Milk, he was there. He's always atting people for attention. I don't at people for attention. You can check my entire Twitter feed. I very, very rarely actually interact with anyone from the Gears scene. I'm not subscribed to anybody from the Gears of War scene. The only person I'm subscribed to is MX Raw. And it's just like... It's very, very just odd. Like, everyone jumps on everyone. And I, I don't like it. It's a very, very... I don't really know how to word it. But yeah, it's, it's a very sort of childish scene. It's a very point scorey scene, and it's just not something I enjoy. Personally, I, I, I've i made a YouTube channel, and my only goal since coming back, like I said, I left in Gears 3. My only goal coming back from Gears 3 and coming to Gears 5 was I just wanted to talk about Gears. And that's all I've done on my channel, just chat about Gears. And I think it's annoying that basically... You, you chat about Gears and you create a nice community, but then ultimately you do have to play the game. And it feels like at the moment, the game is just sort of, for me on a personal level, been a little bit spoiled. And yeah, you know, you have people saying, oh, I've had to block him. I do it because he tweets at me day after day. I don't, I've never tweeted at you. The only person reaching for attention is you, Toby Campbell, hiding in the stream. So it just gets boring. I think what I want to say is, People say one thing in the gear scene, but do another. Like, for example, you know, I shouldn't bring it up, but I will because I'm being honest. I made a video, I don't know if any of you remember, the OG fans, 
I did a video where there was a five minute piece at the end talking about suicide prevention and how important it was and how there were bigger things going on in the world than the Gears of War balance. And it turned out that that person had faked their own death and now, apparently, they're like a huge person in the Gears scene. And that's the kind of stuff I don't want to be involved in. So when people ask me to do collaborations, when people ask me what's going on, why aren't you playing Gears... It's mainly because of the community. I find the community, and specifically the vocal community, meaning the people that control the PC discords, the discords, the big Twitter accounts, all of this, there are these little groups that sort of band together to try and stir stuff up. Then when they get caught stirring stuff up, they flip it around. Like, I guarantee you, people will say, I'm doing this for drama, and I guarantee you people will be like, oh, you're stirring it up. No. There's also people saying I play the victim, which is amusing, because if people consistently read facts that I put out and think I'm playing the victim, well, then there's your answer, isn't it? It's just a prime example of how backwards the community is, the vocal community, because there's only one person in the wrong. It's not me asking stop it's not me asking on my own twitter feed how come stotty is getting abuse from moomy milk what's he done it then gets flipped around to this guy's stirring shit this guy is trying to get drama the, like the idea I, I you know what i mean the the idea of calling somebody a dick rider in in 2020 it's a little bit cringe i'm, I'm not i'm not gonna lie the, the other channels in the Gears of War scene obviously don't want to get involved in it. They all see it, but they don't want to get involved in it in case it messes up their contacts, in case it messes up their PR, or their friendship, or whatever, or their ability to network <clears throat> in the scene. Because the scene is so small, people are very nervous about cutting people off. Like, if you publicly get in a dispute with Moomy Milk, that's a very, quote, dangerous position to be in because he's, quote, the top Gears of War person. But it doesn't fucking bother me one bit. I am my own person. And if this guy wants to come out and publicly threaten me, and if this guy wants to talk a load of shit and get unchained off a random comment, then I will call that person out. That doesn't mean I'm stirring the pot. It means I'm, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to stand on my own. That's what's so brilliant, like, if you were to take anything away from this, that's what's so brilliant, I think, about this channel, is I came back into the scene not knowing anybody. I came back into the scene having zero connections to anybody. So I can say what I want. If I want to call out Moomy Milk for being an idiot on Twitter, because he, he is factually being an idiot, I will call that person out. Aurora Symphony, you might be a Twitch streamer, you might be a lovely bloke, but to me, my experience was, you talked a load of shit about your friends in the PC Discord, and then two, two days later, you're like, oh, I agree, Toby, I had to block him as well. I have my own community, I'm honest, and I just say what I see, and at the moment, I'm seeing a community that is pretty toxic, and... You can let me know in the comments below, is the community quite toxic for you? Because our experiences are going to be different, and that's what's great about the channel. We can talk about these things, we can have disagreements, but it's never going to come to a point where we're physically threatening each other. Because my audience is a lot older, we're a lot more, I guess, mature in the way we discuss things, and that's great. It's great to read. I have so many good discussions with people on my channel, I read a lot of good discussions back and forth, it gives me ideas... I'm sure you listen to me and get some ideas and it's like this like environment of like bubbling conversation where we pick things up off each other and it's great. I guarantee this post or this YouTube video somebody will be like you're just doing this for attention. There are plenty and plenty of tweets, videos, people in the scene that I look at and go they are a great person, great content, absolutely love that stuff. There are plenty of tweets and people that I go, what an idiot. But I never make a video about it because I don't want my channel to be that. The reason I made this video and included those two examples is, one, they're quite high profile, they're a caster, and one is, I guess, the biggest YouTube channel going, unless there's like a, a Mexican channel that I don't know about. And two, I wanted to speak about the community with my community. So the video's not going to have a clickbait title. It's not going to have any of that because I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in discussion. I'm interested in gears. 
and I'm not interested in trying to fucking blow somebody's pipe to try and get a few extra Twitter followers or, you know, be be fake Bezzy mates to try and, you know, play in a game with them like a lot of people do. I'm not into that. I'm here to play Gears. I'm here to play games I enjoy and discuss things I enjoy. And today I wanted to discuss the fact that Moomoo Milk has been a complete idiot on Twitter. Recently, I've had people, Iudes... Um, there's been Toby, there's been Tricky Gumchew, all these people sit in the stream sniping me, trying to get me mad, talking shit in Discord, you have people coming in the stream saying, oh you're a great bloke, then I'll see them on Twitter the next day tweeting at somebody else, I have people that follow me just to just because they dislike me, which obviously always happens, which I've always thought is a weird concept. Why would you follow somebody you don't like? Like, I don't watch things I don't like. Why would I waste my time with that? But I guess some people want to do that. What I should say, or rephrase that is, the quote vocal community, the top of the top, are very hard to interact with because everyone's on walking on eggshells. They don't want to say the wrong thing in case they, like, get blocked or in case they, oh, we might not play with me anymore. I can't play with him on stream or, oh, I can't play in his tournament or blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't care, so I'm just been me. Apparently, that is makes me a evil person that needs to get his ankles broken. But, you know, whatever. Talking nonsense. They're entitled to their opinions, of course they are. But don't be, don't be giving me all that nonsense.